how quarantine affected gold digging women. You know, see, gold digging women are used to being taken out to the nice restaurants, McCormick's, Ruth Chris, whatever fancy so-called five-star restaurant it is. But now that the quarantine is here, the guys that was taking them out, most of them got girlfriends and wives. Not all men cheap, but most men that has resources to blow, they're going to hump, have sex with some girls that look better than the girl that they love. It's not right. That's just how the way the world is. They're going to have some side pieces that think they all that. And these usually these side pieces look better than they, the girl that they claim. And they actually love the girl they claim and they have a sex with the pretty girl. They just want money. They just want you to impress her. And if he got the chips to spend it, he said, why not spend it on something and pound on something that looks pretty that I always wanted to smash, you know, that I don't get to have that feeling regularly. I get the loving feeling with my wife or girlfriend that I've been with for a long time. But I want to hit something that's gorgeous sometimes. I want to bang and knock the buck off something that's gorgeous. So they do that. They take out these girls and these girls think that they the top of the world. Some blue pill men, they actually leave their good girls and their down chicks and their number ones. They actually leave them for the for the groupie side chick girl. Um, and then the groupie side chick girl end up leaving them once they meet somebody else that got more than them. So you definitely always want to, I don't recommend no man to cheat, but you definitely don't want to leave the one that truly love you. Because love is hard to find in this evil satanic world. But in this quarantine, you got so many, so many women that's not getting taken out. But guess what? They're human. They have sex drives. And that nipple is getting tingling. That coochie wants some penetration. And they ain't got no guy that can't, they can't, no guy can impress them or indirectly pay for it. Most blue pill guys, beta males guys, they actually indirectly paying for the coochie. You know what I mean? And then the woman, oh, you're so nice, but you're paying for this. Oh, you're so nice, you're paying for me. What you do for a living? Can you take me here? Well, oh, I don't eat here. I don't eat there. But then you see them by themselves, they eat that McDonald's, tan that motherfucking Big Mac up. That same girl, you spent $100 on a plate at Ruth Chris, and you think that she, all she eat is fancy food because she say she vegan and all this crazy shit. That same girl, you walk by McDonald's on a Tuesday, she tan that motherfucking French fries up. She tan that motherfucking Big Mac up. You like shit. If you, if if you eating this shit like this, I could have took you here. We could have saved money. Shit, we could have took that and did some go karting, did some golf, and did some other shit. You trying to make me spend a hundred dollars on something that you don't even eat every day? You going out with another dude tomorrow, and the dude you humping may not even be giving you shit. You know what I mean? He might be bringing you a Coke soda over or something. So you got to understand when you're dealing with these women. You never know what you can do. And this quarantine has affected. They can't take, these guys cannot take them out. They can't impress them. So these women are forced to either use vibrators, complain about men, or give in and go over a guy's house and possibly give them some booty. This is just how the quarantine effect. It has shook up the whole tricking. Most of the guys can't see their side girls because they up under their girl. Ain't no excuse for saying they going to the work and going to the gym. All that's closed and shut the fuck down. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of these women realize that they not all that. Once guys start treating good-looking women like they average, the whole world is going to change. It's going to be a shift taking place. The shift is already taking place. There's so many red pill guys everywhere that's waking up, and they're not getting fooled by the big butts, the fan pages and all that. I'm Alan Williams, The Real Unit. I love you. To see the full video, subscribe to any of my YouTube channels, Alan Williams, The Real Unit. This quarantine has changed dating forever, man. I mean, you know, in, in a good way. It's going to change in a good way. People are going to get a little bit less materialistic because so much about the health stuff that people will have to focus on that. They're going to have to focus on what really matters because people, family members going to die. And, you know, a lot of stuff going to be concerning it, real issues. It's going to be a light. Everything going to be life or death. So when something is life or death like that, you seem to be more concern about what the more meaningful things in life instead of just you know we all want to survive and stuff like that but you start to focus on who you really get along with not just because they drive a car or she got a nice butt or you know how, how much this person make for a living how can you know how, how can they make me look and stuff like that so it's gonna get real strange now because you know a lot of people are 
A lot of women are selling their bodies. They prostitutes, indirectly prostitutes. Only fans pays. They're using their body to get their money from the blue pill, beta male, thirsty guys. That's um, weak, weak for, you know, weak for a woman's body. So that's what's going on. You know, we got a lot of, we got a lot of that going on now. You know, a lot, a lot of indirect prostitution. So the dating game has changed. You know, it's, the divorce rate is high. Uh, people realizing they got with people for the wrong reasons. Other people realizing other people got with them for the wrong reasons. Um, it's exposing the toughness, the, the genuineness of the rela of relationships and friendships. People that live together, you know, when you live with somebody, everything get revealed. You see how when you when you live with somebody and be around them a lot in the house, a lot of people get along in the house because they're not around each other a lot. One person work a lot and stuff like that. So the relationship stays new. If you can be around a person for a long time and actually get along with them, that means that you guys are actually connected. You actually can get along. You're actually good friends. And this quarantine thing has changed a lot of relationships. Yeah, the effect is vicious. You know, women, they just never used to having to go straight over a guy's house, go to a curry out, you know, actually dealing with a guy without him trying to impress them. Most good looking women, dime pieces, gold digging women, they used to women, guys buying them drinks at the bar. They want to go places where guys are spending money. The casino. They want to go to the casinos and all that type of stuff. The, the, you know, the places where they gamble. They want to go to the lounges, the clubs. Anywhere we spending money where you can see what this guy working with. Who he around, what he dressed like. You know, does he look like his pockets hurting? These are the guys they say they want to be around because they don't really want to be with no guy forever. They want to be with this guy to get a hold on him, to hopefully put his guards down where he can have sex with a raw or they can get married and get alimony and get child support for 18 years. And they know they're going to get a good amount of check, good amount of something. If a guy making six figures or more, 500000 a year, a million a year, they, for 18 years, they can get a good chunk of money where they can start their own business. or Usually they're going to leave the guy and get with some guy that's younger or whatever, um, somebody they're more attracted to. Because once they're looking for the guy that have these resources, they don't give a damn how he look. They don't care if he look like Uncle Festa. They don't care. You know, you can look at the celebrities now, all these ugly celebrities with all these, with all of some of your major superstars. These guys look funny. If these guys didn't have that money, didn't have that fame, they would not be with these guys sucking them dudes' dicks. I'm here to tell you right now, they would not be with those guys. So you got to understand that type of world we live in where gold diggers are looking for their break. Quarantine fucked all that up. They can't go out. You know, they can't wear the sex sexy stuff. They got to meet a guy in CVS and shit like that. And even then, they're going to try to talk to him forever on the phone, you know, but... We don't know how long this stuff gonna last, but if it lasts real long, you're gonna see a lot of women breaking down. Women that was gold diggers, the so-called elite of the city, the, you know, the, the girls that be getting smashed by the NBA players, the, the R&B singer that's in town, the business guys, the club promoters, the club owners, you know what I mean, even the bouncers, you see what I'm saying? $13 an hour, you working at a good club, you can get that booty from a girl that look really, really, really good so you got to understand in this world it's all about money looks and status and most women don't give a flying fuck about who you are as a person despite what they say and what they cry about it's a lot of good men out here they're not complaining about those good guys they're complaining about guys who don't want them guys who walking away from them guys who Spent some money on them. Fucked the shit out of them. They didn't know the dick was going to be that good. They didn't know the dick was going to be that good. It caught them by, It caught, caught them off guard. A lot of dick catch these girls off guard. These bougie girls off guard. And the guy just go boom. He just go ghost. Ghost out. You know. And then they sitting there stunned. All because they was going after the money. He had a main girl. He just wanted to hit. He had the money to spend a little bit on her. You know, indirectly pay for it. Most guys are indirectly paying for the booty that they want. And these women know that. Oh, I'm not going to go there. Girl, he was cheap. Girl, he was cheap. What the fuck? I'm paying for it. You're, you're complaining about stuff I'm not going in my pocket. 
They're complaining about stuff that guys ain't going in their pocket. They don't want love. They want attention and resources. I'm Alan Williams, The Real Unair. To see the full video, subscribe to all my YouTube channels. Just type in Alan Williams, The Real Unair and subscribe. Much love to you. Remember, I love you and Jesus love you more. And remember, there's nothing more attractive than not giving a fuck.